Hi everyone, I'm Darkstar, and today I want to talk about cash. Okay? Cash dollars as in greenbacks, as in actual bills, okay? Not the kind of cash that most upstanding citizens carry, which would be in the form of a credit or debit card. Because apparently it has become a crime now have a lot of these on you. These are supposed to be at the bank only apparently. Okay, so a lot of people are not aware of this, but Jeff Sessions, our new Attorney General, reversed the Obama era policy under the former Attorney General, the policy that said that police need a warrant or at least evidence of a crime to take your cash. Now they can seize your cash just because they think you're suspicious. And you're suspicious because you have cash. So you can see how it's a circular argument. Okay? It's pretty much assumed that if you have cash, you're a drug dealer. I don't know where this idea came from, but that's the world we live in. And there are some things that you need to do to protect yourself, okay? One thing that I hope everyone does is contact your congressman or congresswoman if you're concerned about this and say, hey, this is the United States of America. It's not a crime to carry cash issued by the United States of America or any other jurisdiction for that matter, okay? People are been pulled over and for minor traffic offense, they say they want to search the car. They sort of give you this, you know, let us search the car and we'll kind of forget about that speeding or whatever, right? So a lot of people do it. I've done it. Hate to admit it. I let them search my car to get out of a speeding ticket. In hindsight, I wish I hadn't done it. Now, they didn't find anything. I didn't have anything. I didn't have cash. I mean, I wasn't going to casino at that time. So they didn't find a lot of cash, they didn't find drugs or weapons or any of that stuff. So I was fine. But here's the thing. How did I know that those were honest cops? I got lucky they were honest cops. They could have planted something. It's not like that's never happened, okay? I'm not saying it happens a lot. I'm not saying that the most cops out there are dirty. I'm just saying it can happen. And you need to protect yourself. Okay, so one thing that I do now, especially if I'm traveling to a casino and I have a lot of cash on me, if I get pulled over, I turn my camera phone on. I turn on the camera on my phone. And uh, even if it's not picking up the video, just the audio at least, okay, I want to have some kind of record, all right? And, you know, if you have cash, but you don't have drugs, you don't have weapons, why are you a drug dealer? That doesn't make any sense to me, but, you know, I'm, I'm not a police officer, right? So... What makes sense to them and what makes sense to me are two different things, obviously. So there's some things that you can have in the vehicle with you, I think, to help protect yourself. One thing, instead of carrying a lot of cash, is you can carry some cash and carry some actual casino chips. Now, not these. These are fake, you know, chips from a real casino. Okay? Um, have a letter from an attorney, if you can do that, that states that you're a professional gambler and this is how you make your living and that's why you're carrying cash. Have logs of your wins and losses, okay? If you're a professional gambler, you should be keeping track of that anyway. So have a record of that in the car with you. Um, brochures from casinos, that helps. Books on gambling, like this one right here, written by yours truly, Dark Star Blackjack. Great book, by the way. Teach you everything you need to know about card counting, and even if you don't want to card count, just to be a better recreational gambler even. Or, maybe you don't even want to read the book. Maybe you just want to have it in the car to prove that you're a gambler and that's why you have all this cash. So this, <laughs> this may be one of the only books, or at least very few books, that can help you even if you don't read it. Huh? How about that for a shameless plug? All right, but seriously, have some gambling books in the car. Something like that, because you're going to have to offer evidence that you're not a criminal. Shouldn't have to do that. Shouldn't have to prove you're not a criminal, but 
that's that's what we're dealing with all right so I want to make everyone aware of that hopefully this is not a problem for you thanks for watching please remember to like the video if you did like it please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this I'll send you updates whenever we make a video uh, a lot of videos are much better than this one <laughs> um, and uh, even if you didn't like the video subscribe anyway there's no cost to subscribing thank you all again and may the count be with you <laughs>